That's my llama. He's scared of me. He will love me. I already love him. Frankie's previous owner didn't want him anymore and surrendered him to a livestock auction. A friend of mine was there, saw Frankie, knew I would want him, and she drove him all the way out to me. Welcome home, buddy. Oh my God. I fell in love with Frankie right away. How could I not? The only problem was oh, he didn't love me. <laughs> That's my Frankie boy. So I really just started slow, inching my way a bit closer and closer to him every single day. The biggest thing was just being patient with him. I never forced it. I never tried too hard. I just let him know that I was there. Hi, bud. Eventually, petting him wasn't even a goal anymore. My biggest thing was just for him to feel comfortable and safe around me. I just wanted him to eat out of my hand. It was just fun to chill with him and watch him and observe him while he would watch and observe me. Good for you getting your nutrients right before bed. You like snack time? I love snack time. Oh, I can't wait for us to be best friends. Come snuggle. <laughs> yeah, you get over here. Frank, you wanna play catch? I could tell he was curious. He wanted to know what was up. Okay. And then eventually I just stopped. I just let him be him and I would just do my own thing. Basically, I had to play hard to get. Then one day, something amazing happened. I was like screaming inside, but I was so afraid to scare him. He ate out of my hand. And I just was thinking, Frankie, I am so proud of you. As soon as he ate out of my hand, I knew I was in. I've made it in the circle of Frankie trust. He was finally starting to love me. He knew for sure and knows now for sure that I'm not a threat to him. He loves me, again, almost as much as I love him.